Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about some recent news regarding Windows 11 and related to the default archiving tool in Windows 11. Microsoft has recently announced that they are adding native support for more formats regarding archives. So I think this could mean the end of third party tools like WinRAR or 7-Zip, but we're going to talk about all that in this video. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is based on some news that Microsoft announced on their blog post alongside with the news related to the AI support in Windows 11, more options for developers. We have a section in that article that states the following. Microsoft added native support for additional archive formats, including TAR, 7-Zip, RAR, GZ, and many others using the Live Archive open source project. You now can get improved performance of archive functionality during compression on Windows. So in my opinion, this is great news for all Windows 11 users because I think a lot of users expected this a while back and it's interesting that we didn't have native support for formats like .rar which is a very common format. A lot of archives have this format and you wouldn't be able to compress or extract an archive with that format if you don't install a third-party tool like WinRAR or 7-Zip. And uh, with this news, I'm looking forward to hearing from you if you're still gonna use WinRAR or other third-party tools to extract or to compress press archives because in my opinion it won't be necessary anymore as we will have this native support in Windows 11. I remember using WinRAR since the Windows XP days and one of the first things that I would do when um, installing a fresh copy of Windows would be to install a browser for example Google Chrome and an archiving tool. Sometimes it would be WinRAR and other times it would be 7-Zip but all these years Microsoft only had support for zip files and if you had an archive that was using for example 7 zip or RAR formats, you wouldn't be able to extract or compress them. And it's also interesting that Microsoft has decided that in Windows 11, they're adding this native support. I'm sure that it wasn't that complicated, but for sure, they're trying to implement inside Windows a lot of apps and tools that will make users not use as many third party tools as they are using now. And I think this is great if those tools and apps are implemented nicely with a lot of options, because of course, if a tool that Microsoft implements with native support in Windows 11 is not as complex and doesn't have as many options as a third-party tool, users will go ahead and use that third-party tool. But from what I know, this native support for other formats regarding archives should be coming very soon in Windows 11. And when that happens, of course, I'm going to make maybe an updated video or an updated article on my website. So as a conclusion, with these news from Microsoft related to Windows 11 and archives, this could mean the end of third-party tools like WinRAR or 7-Zip. But of course, as as I've said, I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments below if you're still going to use tools like this. If you want to find more info about this, you can check out the article below where you'll have more info related to these news and also the official link to the Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.